This is Ron from Geezer and Geek TV. This video is being specifically made for beginning instructions for members of the SCARES group to begin to learn how to log into and use their new WordPress site. What will happen is you will receive an email and it's going to say it's from SCAR, SCARES and it has your username and password info and it comes from WordPress. So you open the email and it's going to look like this. The first thing that you're going to see is your username and your username has been compiled from a combination of your initials and your call sign. So that's where it's come from and your everybody use everybody's username of course is unique. So that's where it's come from and you're going to see a link on what you need to do. So click on that link and you'll see it comes up with WordPress and it comes up with a generated new password. And so what you want to do is you want to open up Notepad um, because you want to copy this password someplace. So click on it, right click and copy. Bring up Notepad and um, maybe start off with Scares website, your username, and your password. And copy the password into your notepad and you can come back to your um, original email and um, copy your username. Paste that in your notepad. So here we have your new username, here we have your password and um, you might want to go ahead and save that right away so you don't lose this as you will need that username and password so we'll find a quick place to put it to save it And then you're going to want to click on reset the password. And then you're going to want to log in. And your login is what you've got in your notebook file. So we'll copy the username. and come back to our notebook file, copy the password, paste it, and we'll go ahead and log in. All right, now I have logged in this username as an editor. And so as an editor, you can do posts and media and pages, comments. You can see some of the templates and the widget content profile and some of the tools. This is at the editor level. Most people will be 
Some people will be editors, and editors can approve uh, other users' posts and comments. So this is the editor uh, level. And one of the first things that you want to do is you want to come in to here, where it says Edit My Profile. You want to take a look at your profile. And um, you want to look at your username and your first name and your last name and your nickname. Your nickname is what is going to be publicly displayed. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to it's, it's um, I'm going to have just your name and your last name up here. Yeah, I'm going to change my nickname to include my call. And I'm going to display, if I write a post, I want it to display my name and my call. It's going to have an email here. It's got a website. If you want, you can put some information here about yourself. This isn't really publicly available, um, except um, in certain kinds of searches. It's really kind of more for people uh, to inside the group or who logged in to see more about you if you so desire. You can put a profile picture up, and you can do that through Gravatar. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but and it may even come up with your picture depending on how Gravatar is set up to work with your email and so on. So that's where I want my profile to be for now. And um, so I'm going to update that profile. And that's basically all you need to know to log in to your new site and to get it going to where you can start to write your own posts and pages. And remember, pages are more stationary things like your front page and your contact us page and so on. So normally you don't want to be adding pages, but you will want to add posts. So we'll come up here to where it says add new. And you would want to start off with entering a title. And when you move off screen, it's going to come up with this link. And you may want to edit that to shorten it. So I want to edit that possibly to shorten that down to just new. And I'll do OK. Now the WordPress editor looks and works a lot like Microsoft Word or other word processing software. You have various different things that you can do. Um, you can edit. You can, it's a new document. You can insert things, views. There's some videos available on how all of this stuff works, bad tables, tools. One of the things that's not really obvious is this right here. You want to toggle the toolbar on so you can see more things that are available for you. Um, first thing to do is you want to choose a category. What is your post about? And I've got some categories here. And editors can add new categories if they want to. So I'm just going to put this as unassigned. And um, enter some text.
maybe I want to add some media. Go up to the media library. If I if it's a picture I've got in the media library, you can use this. Or if it's a picture you've got on your computer, you can come here and go to the file and um, find uh, a picture that you may want to use. Uh, I think I'll use this one. And you can see that this one is, is good. You want to keep your pictures. You want to process your pictures on your computer first so that they are in kilobytes. This particular photo is a 10 by 24 by 683 and it's 158 kilobytes so that is fine. The thing you don't want is you don't want picture sizes that are above 500 kilobytes and you certainly don't want pictures that are in the megabyte and gigabyte range. So we'll click this and we'll open it and you'll see it forming and it's done. So I'm going to insert that picture into the post and then once I've got the post written the way I want I'm simply going to publish the post. As an editor that post is going to come up on the site and you'll see it. So we'll click on publish and it'll work on publishing it and it'll come up and it will say that you've just published a new post and you can click up here and view the post to see what it looks like see if you want to change it. So my new post looks like this and here's my photo that we uploaded. So let's go back to where that editor is and let's take a look at the site itself. Open it in a new tab. Go paste and go. Put it up here and and here's our new post. So we can take a look at it here. And here's our new post. And if you're logged in, you can actually edit it from here. Although it's usually not a good idea to do that. It's best to come back to where you're logged in and um, do your editing here. So you'll move back to where you were editing and you can do your editing and changes here in the edit post area from the dashboard. So that's pretty much what you need to know how to put in a post, how to add a photo to the post, how to publish it. Now remember if you're a um, contributor or a um, author you won't be able to post. Only editors will be able to post it publicly. So if you're a contributor or an author the changes that you make will have to be approved. And also um, contributors and authors will not have as many controls to deal with over here. So the next thing that you need to do is you're, you're done at this point. So go ahead and log out um, of WordPress. And when you want to go back into your site, you're going to need to find that username. Copy that. Put it in your username paste and you're going to go to, want to go back to your notebook file get your password and paste that in now I did change the password while I was putting this video together so there's kind of a a skip and you'll see kind of a blurred out password it's not the original one that 
Um, I did that with, and there's a reason for that. But you can go ahead and log in. And that puts you back to your site. Now, something to know about when you log in. Let me log out again so I can show you. Is how to log in. How do you get this login screen? Um, let's go back to the main screen. And here we are on the main site. And of course, there's <clears throat> there's nothing here that allows you to log in. So to log in, you need to go hyphen wp dash login dot php and click on that and that brings up your login screen where you would enter your username and your password there's that's not the only way you can do that you can also come into a WordPress site with you first from the site and then you go WP admin and that all WP admin also will bring up your login screen where again you just enter your um, username enter your password and before I hit the login let me show you this right here if you cannot remember your password or where you saved it at you can click on this that says lost your password uh, put your username or your email up there first click on lost your password it will email you a new one of those emails that looks like this that it has a new link and that will generate a new password and then you can go in and do that. Also in the email is the login link right here. So that's pretty much all you need to know. Get back into the login of the dashboard and there we go. That's pretty much all you're going to need to know, enough to get you started. Uh, this is Ron from Geezer and Geek TV. Uh, hoping that you enjoy your new website and the ability to put in posts and pages and media and so on. Thank you for watching.